This video is for reference only. Please do at your own risk. Please hire a professional electrician if you do not feel comfortable doing this. That's it, just be careful. Don't touch nothing. You know, if you're not comfortable with it, get somebody else that is. Yep. Because like I said, you can get hurt really bad if you're not careful. And uh, like I said, if you're not comfortable messing with the electricity, get somebody else that knows what they're doing. Yep, and we take that very serious. And um, uh, we feel comfortable. He Obviously, he's a licensed. I feel comfortable because he's licensed. I've been so. doing it for 30 years. Yeah, so. yeah. So I know what not to touch, mm -hmm. believe me. Yep. But yep. occasionally, you still touch the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah. is that where the gray from you came in when I touched the wrong wire? You too, right? <laughs>[no_transcription]
every home is different. Every home is different. Okay. I mean, if it's in the basement, it's way easier. You don't have to fish anything. Mine is my sub panel that we're fishing it to is in an interior wall with this crawl space addition we put on the house. So I have to run it underneath the crawl and fish it up the wall of the panel. So mm -hmm. anybody else, if they're in the basement or anything like that, is way easier if it's in a basement panel. Right. All right, Mike, take it away. I'm gonna leave it up to you because you do, I am not wearing the MJM Electric shirt. So since you have the honor to wear that, you can explain to us. Okay, this is your 50 amp RV plug. Okay, then this is a breaker, 50 amp breaker. It's a Cutler Hammer Eaton, which is what my panel is. It runs about 18 bucks. As far as the breaker goes, now the breaker is based on what kind of panel you have, right? Correct. Yeah, you have to get a breaker that's rated for the panel you have. Like say if I had a Siemens panel, it would have to be a Siemens breaker. GE panel would be a GE breaker. Uh, square D would be square D. This, I have a Cutler Hammer panel, so I have a Cutler Hammer breaker. So gotcha. that way it's, it's UL listed for the panel I have. Um, you need a couple connectors, which are just standard connectors for the wire. They'll run through and just tighten the wire up. A few staples, wire staples that, to staple it down in the rafters. You need a be able to drill a hole through the wall and then some caulk to caulk it up. And then this is the wire that we use. $6.25 a foot. Your two hot conductors, your neutral and your ground. Okay. So you have to have all four wires to run the 50 amp circuit 220. In a 30 amp rated 110 system, you have a ground, a neutral and one hot. Okay. That's it but it's only 110, so you only have a neutral, a hot, and a ground, where this one has two hots, a neutral, and a ground. And that's what makes... And that's where you can get the 220 from. So each leg to neutral or to ground is 110, So, but to the two sides together, give you 220. So this will give you the 220 power, just like you have at the RV park, or wherever that, where you plug in on the, on the pedestals that they, when you go to camping or whatever that if you have a 50 amp, that's what it is. Okay. Okay. So basically the ground is the size of the 30 amp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is, you can see how much larger these are compared to the, the copper one. The copper is the size for a 30. Oh, I see that. I okay. see how thin that one is. Right. Yeah. And they're stranded because once you get that big, they're usually stranded. Mm -hmm. So they carry the current better, whatever you want to say. They, they're more strands of copper. They can carry the current better. Okay. So, but this rate wire is rated for 55 amps. I'm excited that I'm going to help you because he's going to put me under the crawl space. space there. And like I said, I'm not going to record it. All right. What's our first process? I am going to get the box ready. Okay. Prep, prep the wire into the box. And then I'll show you how to hook it up in the box and we'll drill the hole in the wall and we'll mount the, we'll, we'll put the wire okay. on the crawl space and then we'll mount the box on the wall. Okay. And then we'll be back when we get it fished up the wall. Okay, let's go, let's okay. do it. Oh, okay. okay. See the 15 amp. Yes. I'm gonna take that. And this is the same kind of plug that you would have in your electric range mm -hmm. in your house. Okay. And it's the same way. Always ground up because when you have the plug plugs in, mm -hmm. then the ground is at the top and then the wire comes out the bottom. Okay. Yep. So so then this would be the ground. These would be the hots. This would be the neutral. The neutral. Okay. Right. So the left and the right is yep. the hots. Yep. And then that's basically what it tells you to hook it up. Gotcha. gotcha. When, you, when you bring it in, you got your ground already hooked up in here. It's got the, the, the rain lid for it. So we're going to punch out one of these holes in here to go through the wall. And then we'll hook our ground up to this. The ground's on the top, two hots are on the side, and the neutral's in there. So okay. it doesn't matter if you have the red on one and the black nope, on the other. They're both hots, right, so that doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference which order they are in. Right, as, right. As, as long as you don't get the... Um, the um, neutral and the, and the black confused so a disclaimer mike is a licensed electrician when i am doing stuff to my rv he's the first person i call and get advice so that's why i'm able to do certain things to the rv with electrical but 
He is a licensed electrician. If you feel at any point, because this will do something really bad to you if you do not know what you're doing, and it'll do something bad to your house. So if you feel uncomfortable, stop this video and just go hire somebody and do it. But this is just a reference video, so pretty much do at your own risk because Mike is a licensed electrician. He's doing it here at this house because this is what he does. So do at your own risk. You're talking about these clamps right here. These that are, is what holds are, the wire a, yeah, together. It's called atomic clamp. Okay. okay. Atomic clamp. Yeah. And it's going to go on the back like this. And then we're going to bring the wire through. But I will have this and this in the description below on my Amazon for an Amazon link. So in case you want to purchase it, and usually they ship it the next day. Right. Sometimes yep. it's quicker. All this you can get it at Amazon. Yes. So. I can't, I can't stress that enough. M measure the wire. If you think you need 20 feet, add three feet. You're better off to have a little bit extra and not need it because you can't stretch it to make it longer. You want to have at least six inches of wire um, to work with. Okay. You know, Mike, I don't know if I told you this, that a couple of weeks ago, I got a comment in one of my videos and it said, So guess what I'm doing in this video? I'm letting him do all the work, uh, him talk. Chats, that was funny, that was funny. Yeah. All right, so you put the tomahawk on. Tomic. <laughs> Tomic. Tomic, Tomic on. on. Right. You tighten it. Right, tighten it to hold the wire. We're gonna route the, route the wire in there. We're it's out of the way. Took off the jacket. Okay, the jacket, yep. Took the uh, insulation off of it. The, uh, it's got paper insulation in there. I took that off. Okay, now you're connecting the ground. Ground, right. Yeah. And then we're going to slide the ground in here. Right. So I'm just going to tighten that down. Bonds the panel to your house service. But basically, you're taking what, a three quarters of an inch off of yes. that? Yes. Okay. Yep. And there's usually a strip guide sometimes on these plugs where they tell you, oh, you know, this big. Because mm -hmm. you just want enough to go. Into the, inside into the here. hole, but yeah. not stick way out. I gotcha. So it'll short out. You get more of a chance to short it out. Gotcha. So, you know, because once you, all this is metal. So you want to make sure that everything's put together and you don't have um, extra, mm -hmm. too much extra sticking out that could short out to something else. But explain why we start on this end versus the other end in the house. The only reason I'm doing it on this end is because I can put the box together beforehand then i can just shove all the loose wire into the crawl space then we can tack it down as we go back to the panel and pull everything up into the panel so i have all my excess in the panel and then it, you could do it the other way but it's harder to fish it down mm -hmm. into the crawl from the panel than fishing it up into the panel from the crawl gotcha the safest thing to do is turn the power off at the main so that way it's not energized in the in the panel because you right. could always touch something like my panel in there i have several open spots in there so and all of those are live if the breakers on if the main breakers on gotcha. all those are live yep. so yep. this way here if you shut the main off then all those are dead and where if you're pulling something in you're not worried about it touching. doesn't have to worry about right. touching anything right. all right so he's starting the neutral which is on the opposite side of, of the, the ground. of the ground I'm going to do the red. And we're going to hook the ground back up to the box, which is this one here. This goes back. Oh, I like that. It's better than a screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just tighten this up, and then this will bond the, the plug to the ground here see there's two bumps mm -hmm. on each side yes. well the cover goes between that and then down okay like that and then it and that way it lines up and then the you hole. just to throw that screw back in right actually i'm not going to put the cover on because i'm going to have to take it off oh that's right to screw it to the wall that's right okay. this is just a rain rain cover Got they, it. they make um a cover that has an actual threaded hole in it if you wanted to bring a pipe in, like say if you had to run conduit into it or something like that, instead of coming through the back. Got it. 
I marked it out already. This is going to be the top of the box, so it, it's even with this one. Gotcha. And then um, my stud is between here and here. This is my raft. Okay. So the hole is going to be probably in here somewhere. Okay. And then um, I'll just push the wire through and that's it and then it'll all go inside the crawl and then we'll we'll tack it down and run it to the other side all right cool by the way i love coming here being here just makes me feel at home and they my my sister and my brother-in-law they have such great hospitality that um they just make you feel at home and that's why i always come here when i come to michigan i always make it a point to park my rv here at their property plus i get free food Okay. All right, so he's gonna. It's important, make sure it's not tangled. Not you, Mike, I'm talking to them, because then you have to pull it all out and detangle it. Yeah, it's got not tied up. Yeah. If you noticed, he made the hole lower on the insert here for that. Right. That uh, bracket. Nope, but just any kind of any kind uh, of caulk. Caulk to hold it. And then we'll seal the hole. Mm -hmm. And we'll go around it a little bit. And this is white going on, but it turns clear when it dries. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that clear stuff, yeah. Right. Alright, so we remove the cover so he can draw some we'll screws, screws in there. Screws. Yeah. You know, RVers are professional lovers, levelers, by the way. Yeah, you have to level the RV. <laughs> right there. Nice, I just felt that. Look, it's still level. We're good. Yeah, I'd better. Yep, yep, yep. Plus it covers the hole, so nothing crawls into it. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. it. Yeah. So remember the two little divots, you put it in there. You put that, put the screw. Now's a good time to tell you that, uh, you know, I we did a video, Mike and I, and matter of fact, one of our subscribers actually said, hey, I'm in Macomb County. And I believe they said they were contacting Mike for some work. That was years ago, so I don't know if they did. But if you're in Michigan and you need an electrician. Macomb County area. Macomb County area, MGM Electric. I also, um, I also do Oakland County. I can work Oakland County. Macomb, mm -hmm. some parts of St. Clair Shores down in the Gross Points and mm -hmm. stuff. And for family, North Carolina. No? <laughs> when we go on vacation. <laughs> All right, so he's putting the lid on. Yes, and there it is. Well, well, I'll take caulk later. And yeah, I'll like you did top. here. Yeah, just so that way the water can't get behind there. Right. You know, I, I don't worry so much about the sides because we caulked in all the back, but I just don't like to have the extra water running down right. across the top. So I caulked that one just recently. It's, mm -hmm. The caulk hasn't dried yet, and I'll fill that in some more so the water doesn't collect back there. Right, right, and go through and possibly right. go in the hole. I mean, it's all right, that's sealed. All. But... So now we're just gonna fish it across the crawl space, tack it down, fish it up in the panel, and then we'll show you how to hook it up in Let's the panel. Let's go. I am so excited because now I'm here at Mike's house. Mike and Teresa's my sister. And now we're able to run two uh, air conditioners and the reason why is because it is in the middle of July and it may be cool tonight but the next week it's supposed to be in the upper 80s to low 90s and if you are RVing you know that you need two air conditioners by the way my second air conditioner install if you do not have a second air conditioner and you want to install one check that video out right here so Mike's waiting let's go we fed the wire so a lot of talking to him <laughs> the wire has been fed through the hole, secured with your Tama clamps. Tama clamp. I want to say tomahawks. Yeah. The Tama clamps. Didn't didn't go through his plan though. Right. We had to rip open the wall, but we told you you guys are gonna have run into different situations, so that's why we told you that we're not gonna record what we do and how do we bring it up a wall. But this is the most important part. So let's uh, turn this camera around and. All right. So we fed it up through the holes. All right, so now we're breaking into what we started this video off with, which is the 50 amp wires. Yes, I gotta fix this. I promised Mike I would fix it. Before he goes back home. Yes. All right, 
right, so now we got the ground, right? Yeah. All right. So that's the 50 amp breaker that he just right. clipped in there. And now he's attaching the neutral to the neutral bar over here. There. Okay. And then we'll just like this. These off. You have to you have to live in it out here when you come visit me. Right. Or in your driveway, you're just basically keeping your batteries charged. Correct. Yes. And having a glass of wine with Sandy. Right. And air conditioning. Yeah. And that was it. So, so yeah. So that doesn't matter which side you put. No. That on. that okay so that's it now there's power to that going to the plug to that plug outside since you switched that are right, you ready to go out there i'm going to put the cover on okay was he made room i took the i took the, the knockouts out and there it is it's like a, a glove. Never, like it never happened like it never well besides that big old hole right there and that one right there but we won't Right, yeah. and we can take we can take the cover off the yeah. Package. By the way, when you're at the farm, you get a beautiful look at that male peacock right there. Hey, bud, you don't have to fly away. You don't have to fly away. Look at the color on him. This is the benefit about having a farm. Sorry, Mike. All I did was mark it RV two twenty. So RV220, right there, the bottom two. Where's the 30 amp one? 30 amp is right here, it just says RV plug. Gotcha, so now you have two I separate. Put, right, and I can put 110 on here. 110. So I just said to Mike, okay, let's go plug it in and check it out, and he said, no, oh, we gotta test it first. Okay, so we got 220. Oh, yeah. 220 there. Okay, yeah. And now you're gonna check to 110, sure. 110 okay. the ground there, 110 the ground there. Should have 110, 110 to the 110 to the ground there, 110 to the ground there. So we've got 110 to ground, 110 to neutral, 110 to neutral, 110 to ground, 220 between the two. This okay. is it. We don't need that. We anymore. don't need this anymore. That's it. Very yeah, nice. Very nice. That's it. Just be careful. Don't touch nothing. You know, if you're not comfortable with it, get somebody else that is. Yep. Because like I said, you can get hurt really bad if you're not careful. And uh, like I said, if you're not comfortable messing with the electricity, get somebody else that knows what they're doing. Yep. And we take that very serious. And um, uh, we feel comfortable. He Obviously, he's a licensed. I feel comfortable because he's licensed. I've been doing so. it for 30 years. Yeah. So, yeah. So I know what not to touch. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Yeah, but yeah. occasionally you still touch the wrong thing. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah. is that where the gray for me yeah. came in when I touched the wrong wire? Yeah. You right. too, right? right. Yeah. yeah. More tripping breakers. No more tripping breakers. Yeah. It was for easy. Sure. Yeah. Other than getting in the crawl space. Right. I mean, yeah. seriously, you're right. If you had a basement that you can just. Yep. It, way, way easier with a basement. It's so easy. Yeah, I way mean. Easier with a basement. But I think yeah. it took you probably. So yeah, two hours to do the whole thing. I mean, it's not takes a. If it was a basement, it'd, it'd be done in an hour, mm -hmm. and no yeah. big deal. Yeah. You know. But the yeah, the most important part was doing all this and hooking but, it up and the breaker and. But yeah. um, anything else you want to say? Or? Nope. Hey everybody, Mike. Thank you again. No I can't, problem. No, I'm serious. I I I feel like every time I come here, you're doing something for me for the RV. Well, and glad to help. Well, we call that part of the T-Squad family. Right. So just like you guys are the T-Squad family, and we appreciate you being here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the uh, section below, the comment section below, and we'll try to answer them. And I'm sure there's other people that can answer them as well and other people that want comments. So, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to our channel. Go a step further and hit that bell, and you will get, you know, notified for 
videos like this. In the meantime, <laughs> have a great camping season. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye now. Here, give me some knuckles. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. See ya.